is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Brute, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 221, NASDAQ off 82, S&Ps are down 30. Gold, gold contract trading down $25.20 20 at 1984 an ounce. We got silver, silver down 71 cents, $24.26 26 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Up 97 cents, $79.76 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down a full point, plus five ticks at 110.31. The 30-year off two points, plus 13 ticks at 123.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 914 ticks at 101.801. That was a huge rejection of lower price on King Dollar today. It actually did it before the market opened too, folks. Euro, Euro 109. Yen trading at 139, the British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, it's going to get really intriguing out here. Why? Well, you know, the we went up. Well, the Dow, this would have been the 14th day in a row that... Well, it, it was the 14th day in a row that the Dow had a higher high. Now, the Dow gave it up. That would have been the longest streak in 123 years if it was actually positive. And right now, it, the odds of this going up another 230 points don't look too good. So bottom line is that, you know, that this is going to be a pullback. We'll see where this baby wants to go. We get over to the SPY. We take a look at the SPY. You're going to see all of these basically failed at highs. You take a look at the SPY. The SPY got up to 459.44. Right now, you're at 452.97. If we get into the futures and we take a look at the futures, it's been, you know, since noontime, it's been a kind of a one-way, well, it has been a one-way rundown. It started, what is that? Yeah, it started right, right about noon, right? Well, actually, 1140. This is actually that we just we finally got one one bar, you know, let's get a little pop. But the bottom line, it started at 1140, straight move down, gave it up. We the, we got to 4634. Right now you're 4571. If you remember, we bring this back. What you're gonna see first what it was doing, and, and if you are an intraday trader, folks, this is where and we had you know a. A tiger in the den. He was. I was. I, I. Of course, I was on it because I. I marked these things down like crazy. But the bottom line, the first thing it went after was that went after the low, high volume low on Monday, which was the forty five sixty eight. We got the forty five sixty two. Right now, we have forty five seventy one. That being said, I suspect what we're going to see is that you're going to see more selling into the close because normally what ends up happening is that when you get a day 
not not just today. We've had, we've been in an up nice uptrend, okay. And when you open up strong, particularly after the Fed meeting, right? It looked that okay, this thing's going to really move, okay. You get a lot of buy-in that comes in, and then you get a failure. When that happens, folks, what tends to happen is that as we come into the close, there's plenty of folks that, you know, bottom line, they're going to get out of the position. And that's, you know, that's why you get more selling coming into the close. That's how it normally shakes out. So we'll see how this baby shakes out right now. If we get the first positive bar out here uh, since 1140 this morning, <laughs> you know, we hit a low already at 15, 538. No. 15, 5, no, we couldn't have went, a, we didn't go up, something's wrong here, where are they getting that from, I don't even get, there's no way we went from 538 to, let me look at this, to 581, we didn't go up 50 S&P points, I got something happening here, one second, <laughs> there we go, okay, so the low is, 538, where are they getting it? Oh, I see that. No, I see where they got that from. They started that yesterday. Okay. The bottom line is that you can expect lower prices coming as they're close. We go to the ND, ND we go to the uh, dollar. Let's go to the dollar because this gets really intriguing inside the dollar. What we had, now this is where if you keep your eye also on the dollar, what had happened this morning is this, is that at 8.30, I think this was when the GDP came out, the dollar absolutely rejected lower price. It just took off like a rocket ship. So you had the dollar trading up like 750 ticks with the futures still up. So if you took that correlation, you know, the, the correlation's pretty tight. You know, the bottom line, you had a, you know, a good probability that you wouldn't have been buying. You, you know, you, you don't have to sell, but the bottom line, you wouldn't have been buying. So right now we get the dollar at 101,796, and you know this 102 is game. You know, so we'll see how this. And you're right next to 102, so this could be a whole different ball game. You know, because I mean, we'll see what an ABC would be like. We don't have volume on the dollar. 101,600. So you get two. That'd be yeah, 102, 102,500. Well, that's what we'll probably do. We're going to do something that. You know, it's going to be further than we expect. That's, that's what I expect this thing's going to be. Gold. Let's go to look at the gold contract. They hit gold as the dollar was going higher. They hit gold. Gold turned and went down to 1981. Right now we are trading 1983. You get 180,000 contracts. We get the, let me go to the GLD because we're rolling on the gold contract. We go to the GLD. You get some volume here. This is gonna go fill the gap. There's a couple gaps in the GLD that's gonna fill. Stay right there, folks. Come right back, come right back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. Stay right there. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 182. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 48. S&Ps are down 23. Let's get over our man, Mr. Tim Orders, who do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting here. Yes. Uh, we we got out of our long position last Friday, and the market kind of went sideways and, yeah. and tried to break out today. Um, actually, just let's go to chart number one. Okay, I have it. Yeah, real quick. Yep. Yeah, this it, you got to really kind of look at the bigger picture, what's going on, and uh, anyhow, the, the bottom window is uh, the ten day average of the trend. Next window up is a twenty one day average. That's like a month. Twenty one yes. trading days a month. The one above that is a six three day average, which is like three months. Right. And and when all three of those get into bearish territory, which is that um, pink area pink. at the yep. bottom, I can see it of each deal. Yeah. So all three of them got there about you know probably uh, looks like the end of June or sometime in June, uh, maybe mid June or something like that. So you kind of be careful. Yeah, markets still move higher, but. I've listed the times in the past when those all three reached uh, those bearish levels, and that's uh, red lines down from the top. Okay. Um, so and sometimes they're they're right on the market. Sometimes they keep moving higher, but all of them really come near highs. Uh, the last one we had came in, you know, looks like about December, January of 2022. Right. Um, uh, so it was a little bit. I guess a little bit late, pretty much right on the money, but it kind of stayed bearish. That was kind of a big warning that there was something developing. And so I was kind of looking at that, and also I was kind of looking at, you know, we're running into the uh, February, March, April of 2022 highs, also right at this uh, 460 range. Right. And so uh, I was kind of looking for an excuse to get out. Uh, so that that kind of helped. And, you know, flipped a chart two. Hey, I got a question for you first, Tim, right? You know, years right. ago, right? You know, you only looked at the 10-day trend, right? So did yeah. you pick up, I mean, I know how much work you do on the market in general, which is awesome. Um, 
so did you just, just decide that, hey, man, I had to do more work in this trend? Because what happens, folks, is that the average trading days per month is 21 days. So that's what I'm suspecting. You know, you got a month and you got three months, which is 63. So how did you get to that level? Why did you, start, why did you do that? Well, it's actually, I started to screw around with a hundred day. Okay. And hundred day didn't really, didn't do much for me then. I uh, see. And I started thinking, you know, you got to look at the bigger picture. Yeah. Because once you hit these targets, you know, you're going to get some resistance because the market, right. when, the, when the, you know, the, the 10 day, the 21 day and the 63 day all get kind of exuberant. In other words, all get in bearish territory. Yes. You know, the market just runs out of fear to the upside. The market goes up on fear. Remember Joe Granville? Oh, yeah. Always said. The generals. Um, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know if he's still alive, but he always said that uh, the market rallies, uh, what was his term? Um, is this is another word for fear, but anyhow, the market goes up on worry. I'll put yep. it that way. It's okay. Right. Can't I can't remember the exact quote. Yeah, he pa he passed That's away. He did pass away. Go ahead. Yeah, but I, you know it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I I not funny. I, I had him on about about maybe a year before he passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great guy. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was. Yeah, uh, I I actually went. This is off the subject a little bit, but I was living in Denver at the time, and one of my clients and I were. Uh, he wanted me to go to his uh, 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 seminar. Yes. And um, anyhow, the, the whole place was packed. There's probably about 500 people in this room. Yes. And I forgot what, it was like 100 bucks to get in and stuff. Yeah. Well, anyhow, it was like a two or three hour. And all he did was on this stage, he had a puppet. And he put this puppet on his knee. And all he kept saying was, the market needs fear, the market needs uh needs to be scared and all this other stuff. And he said that for about two hours. No indicators, no screens, no uh, no nothing else. Wow. Just that. <laughs> and and did he play the piano the for you? Were, huh? Did he play the piano? Because he played the piano, you know. Uh, you know, he might have been so long ago. Okay. But, I, I mean, wow. It was, it was really, yeah, it was wild, <laughs> you know. And but, but the guy, you know, he was right on the market. So and whatever, you know. <laughs> Whatever makes sense makes no, sense. No, I'm with you. Yeah. We get him, it. But. We get it. Cool. So, but anyhow, but getting back to this, this is kind of that that same scenario. Yes. And he really didn't have a. Uh, he, he more like felt the fear, I guess. And so I put it in terms right. of a de a defining what fear really is. Sure. And that's the you know advanced decline and volume type indicators, and this is one of them. So, the more fear you got. Uh, the better it is for the market to drive higher. And you don't have any fear. Or, you know, they always talk about uh, complacement. Right. You know, um, and this kind of identifies that. It doesn't really. No, it does. Nail because exact, it, it nails it pretty close. No, you know, it, it does. You well, you, what you can see here, stuff. folks, what this does, this is saying for three months, okay, when you get that trends, that no one was paranoid at all. That it's like, hey, we're going to buy the market. Hey, we're going to buy the dips. They're going to buy everything. So that's a long period of time. There's no doubt about it, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyhow, that's uh, so. Uh, I know we're getting close. And I know we're running into uh, the high. Actually, what was your question? I uh, no, oh, no. That you, you answered it because you went through the hundred day and then you start bringing it down. I'll do the twenty one day and the sixty three days. The hundred day didn't do anything for you. I get. I get it. I I just was curious because I could see that you were going month by month because of the twenty one sixty three. So that makes right. sense because if there's no fear for three months, well, that, I mean, that's a long time with no fear. So, yeah, I'll jump right. to the next that's, shot. You're right. That's, okay. that's, that's, so you, you got people complacent now. You know, you had them pretty, you know, bearish back in, uh, looks like about April, you know, February, April, May. Everybody was kind of scared, which was uh, uh, going back to that. So you know, if you go back to that six, three day trend reading, you had a, uh, um, you know, like a 1.1 1 .1 on the trend for three months in a row. That's quite a bit of fear on a six, three, you know, a three months time frame. Okay, and that's the reason why I kind of was bullish in that time frame. Yeah, you know, everybody was kind of scared. Well, this really identifies what the public's thinking. Right. You know, if they're scared, that trend's high. Right. And if they're not scared, that trend's low. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, so anyhow, that's that's how I kind of define that thing. Nice. So, so you really are standing on the opposite side of everybody else when you look at this indicator. Right. And that's where you want to be. 
Exactly. It, right. It, it, you got you got to be where the smart money is, I guess. All right. So. Uh, so anyhow, we go to the next chart. Yes, I have it up. And um, uh, this is uh, anyhow. This is where uh, you can see it a little bit better. And so we're testing the um, March, of, or actually it's February, March, and April 2022, and we're running into those highs there. And when I put this chart out to you yesterday or today, this morning, uh, the next window below the SPX chart, yes, is that SPX VIX ratio, and it actually at the time. It was making new highs, which wasn't uh, a bearish. If you look at it now, it's making lower highs. Here we so, go. I like it. Yeah, so it's, it's starting to, to diverge now. I think you're too quick to go short here. Okay. Because if you look at to, if you look at today's volume, we're probably going to draw a bearish engulfing pattern. Yeah, yeah. Just and stay. We're going to have higher volume today than the last several days. Just but stay there, Tim. Today's high is going to be tested. Wait. We're going to quick break, Tim. We're going to be right back. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought after newsletter, Fibonacci 24 7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We are looking at a, uh, a chart right now. And don't forget, folks, all these programs are archived. So if you happen to be in the car listening, uh, you know, you can pull these up at night. You can see these great charts that uh, Tim sent over. Uh, so right now, Tim, I have the S&P chart up. All right. So chart number two? Yes, chart number two. 
All right. Um, only thing I really uh, this is kind of makes it a little bit more clear, I guess you might say, that you know if you look at the uh, March or the February, March, uh, and April of 2022, you can see it, you know, circled in blue there. You can see we're running into that resistance area. Yes. And so that's that's kind of but you know the the VIX when I sent this over was pretty low. It's starting to rise now, so a lot of things changed this morning. Right. And uh, uh, but the second ch- uh, chart up is, is that SPX VIX ratio. Right. At the time I sent it over, is making new highs. So I, I didn't think it was going to break out. You know, I, I was hoping it would pull back, and it's doing it. Uh, but that ratio now is starting to make lower highs, even though the S&P has made higher highs. So that's starting to diverge. But, you know, before the right before the break there, I said, you know, today's volume is probably going to be pretty high today. Oh. And it's a bearish engulfing pattern. But high volume highs almost always are tested, yeah. especially on a, on a daily basis. So I bet at some point today's high is going to be tested, and that may – and that may set up the uh, uh, potential next trade. And actually, let's just go to chart three. Here's okay. what I'm thinking: what's what's really going to happen over the next three months? Okay. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying the next three months, we're into the period of the weakest quarter of the year. That starts in July and runs to October. And that's kind of another reason why I pulled back my bullish horns. I'm still bullish. I think there'll be a decent bottom sometime, probably in late September or, or October. Where the market will rally all the way into year end, but yep. between now and you know October, I think things can get a little messy. And what I'm thinking, what's happening here? Uh, this is a monthly chart of the SPX, and uh, I kind of took some shortcuts here. But anyhow, we only did a 50 percent retracement going into the October of 2022 low. Yes, and so if you only do a, a 50 percent retracement at the minimum. You should at least go back to the old highs at right. the minimum. And a lot of times it's a halfway point of the next move up, which gives a much higher target. Okay. So what I'm thinking right now is we're running into the, the February, March, April uh, 2022 trading range there, and we're hitting that trading range. So I'm thinking we're going to you know, hit hit the top of that trading range, which, we did, which we're doing right now, and we're going to pull back to support. Well, support is around... What I'm calling the neckline there, which is around 420, because that's where the previous highs were. So we, we had a sign of strength through the previous highs. That sign of strength becomes support uh, at the previous highs, and the previous highs is 420. So I'm thinking we're going to bang around between 460, 420 over the next, um, I don't know, several months, you know, a couple of months, whatever, sure. and create what I think is going to be a right shoulder of a head and shoulders bottom. And the right shoulder and left shoulder are usually symmetric in time. Well, turns out we got three months of of uh, yeah the worst quarter, and that left shoulder happens to be three months. So Look I'm at that! Huh? That's what's I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting it up right now as you're speaking. We're Tim. on the right shoulder right now. No, I can see that. I'm putting it up right as you're speaking right now. Pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know this is putting cart before the horse. No, I'm but, with you. you know, things, I got it. That's, yeah, that's a good trade. Change, this would be, but, uh, I mean, if that scenario comes out, that's a beautiful trading market, man. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, is. it will be. Well, I haven't done that statistic yet because you take the bottom of the head up to the neckline, which we're setting at the neckline right now. Right. And you add that onto the neckline, you know, the market could go uh, quite a ways higher. Uh, so here's another interesting statistic. 74% of the time going – Forgot what date it was. I think it's at least back to 1950. It could be back all the way to 1920. But 74% of the time, uh, 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 the market is up every year, 74% of the time. That's a big number, you know, man. You, yeah, it's a huge number. So you really don't want to bet against the market. It's up 81% of the time if you count the S, if you count dividends, and this is on the S&Ps. So you really got to be a perpetual bull market far as uh, – the equity market is concerned. Gold market, on the other hand, is just a trading range. It right, goes up, right. comes back down, goes up, right. comes back down. So they're too tight, but different markets. Yes. But you, you don't really want to bet against the S&Ps because 74% of the time, uh, if you're short, you're going to be 74% of the time wrong. So, that's pretty intense. So, you know, that's a big number, man. Yeah. That's a big yeah, number. Yeah, it's a pretty big number not to bet against it, but... Um, 
but you know, next year, if this turns out to be a head and shoulders bottom, you know, and say we bottom in October around that 420 area, you know, you, you're talking a market that is is going to be. Yeah, it's it's party uh, time because I, I did the rate the the number there is 110, Tim. So that would be uh, five uh, uh, 425, 530. <laughs> well, well, you added on to 460. That's where the neckline is. 420 is sport. Okay, okay, I got it. Yeah, okay, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. you added on to the neckline, head uh, to the neckline, uh, 416, what, 110? That's what I had, um, yeah, right. Five. So 570. <laughs> party time. That's, that's a, yeah, that would be a, a good party time. And, all, on, and get back to this uh, monthly chart, it, to get that 420 as support, at support, you always see panic. If you don't see panic, it's not a support. So what I'm saying is that all those trend readings, you know, the 10-day, the 20-day, yes. or the 21-day, the 6-3-day, you should see quite a bit of panic right around that 420 area. So when we get there and the trend's blowing out along with the ticks, you know it's going to be support. You know, and you know it's so cool. Out. It was so it's, cool, it's folks, is that now and we know what the number is to look for. I, lo I love these Deals, Tim, when, you know, of course, we're all speculating, but when you speculate and you actually have a number and, you know, we know that the last time that we came down, you know, the, the, the fear went up very fast, which I can see it go up very fast. I mean, it went up, you know, it's interesting. Today, it didn't really go up in the trend or the tick, but the bottom line nope. is that, man, it was like a razor blade. It just kept going south, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, okay. Yeah. You know, they get a couple yeah. more days like this. I, I could picture the exact same thing happening. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, then we go test the highs again because it's a high volume high. Then you fall apart, right? Then it's like, okay, you yeah. know. So it's yeah. yeah. Then then you start falling apart. Um, and you, you get things, you know. So it's kind of a wedding ring. But anyhow, so as we're going along with our interviews over the next couple three months here, yes. When that 420 shows up on the SPX. You know, people should be jumping out. The, well, not jumping out the windows, but you know, you should see that trend consistently high right around that range. Yep. Uh, so that would be a high confidence trade, right? Uh, to put on. You know, so we're we're not going to put the trade on the breaking of the neckline. You know, like we they say in the books. You know, we'll be buying at the bottom of the what I think is potential bottom of the right shoulder, which is that four twenty area. Right. So right, it'd be, it'd be a good trade too. It's a uh, so if we got panic at, at, at that number, I mean, your confidence goes up. That means you can put more money at it. Yeah. So. Stay, stay right there, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming right back. We're going to uh, finish up with the gold market. Stay right there, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and prowl on us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 258, NASDAQ's off 86, S&Ps are off 32. Okay, Tim, so what chart would you like to look at? Uh, we can go to chart four. Okay. Here we go. Uh, just a quick, um, uh, actually, I should, I should have pointed out a little bit more on this chart. But you see that, uh, if you look at the volume chart there, uh, right below the uh, GDX, yes. you see that big finger out there, that big volume day? Yes. Uh, it happened, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago or Right, I see whatever. it. Yep, I can stick yep. it out like a sore thumb, big time, yep. Yeah, like big thumb, right. Yep. So anyhow, we're, there's a gap there. And yes. We're testing that gap today. Right. And there's no way we're going to get above that. So what I'm saying is we're probably finding support right here, right now. Right. And this I, is cool. Looking on the bigger picture, um, the anyhow, the bottom one is that 18-day average up-down volume, you know, advanced decline. And next one is uh, up-down volume, 18-day average. And, uh, and in a nutshell, when, when both those indicators are above minus 10, the market is an uptrend, right? And this this was uh, I produced this chart I don't know, three four hours ago, and we're well we're both right around plus ten uh, on both those indicators, so it doesn't take out all the wiggles of the market, but it does catch the major trend. So we went just in my opinion we were just filling the gap that formed here a couple three weeks ago, and we're testing that gap on lighter volume, and you got both indicators well above minus 10. Um, so I'm thinking this is probably support. It's probably just an ABC down here, and this is leg C of a ABC type thing. So yeah. I don't see any big danger here, I'll put it that way. It's just a, a little bit of a shakeout, then I think we'll, we'll continue higher. Which so the I'm, gold I'm market thinking, loves to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. So exactly. I'm thinking, you know, the equity market is probably going to be uh, – more of a trading market sideways to down type thing. And where the gold market, I think uh, some of that money out of the equity market is going to run into the gold market. So I'm kind of determined it. And uh, so I, I'm thinking this gold market is going to remain decent all the way into October. Or right. the equity market is going to be uh, you know, back and forth all the way into October. So um, how high highs? I, I, I got some other charts. I didn't know how much time I'd have to present them, so I just only presented this one. But I got some other charts on GDX suggesting uh, a move that's going to last a year, maybe two years, from I think it was a March low of uh, this year. So I, I, there'll, there'll be some you know declines along the way, pretty big declines, but not breaking new low declines. Right. It'll be something similar what happened in May to July type declines. It may take a month or two or three, but in general, the market will make higher highs, higher lows over the next year, year and a half, year, maybe two years. So, I, I'm telling you, man, I love these indicators you have, Tim. I can't, yeah, yeah. I, I really do. Because, you know, what happens, folks, okay, what, what Tim does here, okay, and this is what's so cool, 
is that, you know, you're putting a couple different deals together. So there's not one deal that you're looking at. And, you know, when you're a technician, that's a big deal, man, because your probability goes up pretty dramatically, man. You know, and in particular, we know that, I mean, other people don't use them, which makes it even better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I, I wondered, uh, you know, if you ever notice on some of the market, when a lot of these indicators out of these books that we all have read, if you're a technician, right? you know, when they, when they all kind of line up, you know, they all blow up at the same time. Yes. So I always kind of wanted to go something different than than what is nobody else uses. Exactly. And if nobody else uses it, there's there's you know that field is not crowded. When the field gets kind of crowded in an indicator, chances are it's going to fail. Right. And uh, so, so I kind of went a lot of indicators that nobody really uses, and uh, so I stumbled around you know trying to find ways to. Uh, to look, you know, what works, what doesn't work, and you know, so no, I for sure. Up with this and, no. and so, you know, what's what's so right. cool is that the the you know, and of course, you've been doing it for a long period of time, but it, like, so picture if Granville was sitting there with a, with a you know, he, he probably intuitively just knew that it's fear and greed. I mean, and fear and greed really runs the world too, Tim, which is amazing, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. Yep, the, the reality is, is that, you know, once you can get understand that in the marketplace, well, it's pretty cool, man. You know what I mean? I remember, yeah. listen, I, this, is, this is a crazy story. Um, and I have patience beyond belief now, but I remember uh, we were speaking and what, what, what happened in the 90s, folks, we were, we were on from three to four and I had two other hosts, Peter and Mark. And we would be trading like banshees, man, <laughs> because that was, we had an edge then because we had an instant machine and all this stuff. And anyway, make a long story short, right? I remember the first time you said to me, um, we were doing something and you said, yeah, this thing wants to go down there, man. You know, it's like, you know, two or three months. I said to you, two or three months? What, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> I mean, you know, cause, cause my gauge was like, you know, you know, Two or two, three, three minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and once I caught on to that, though, man, you know, your probability goes up a lot more because you, you really do look at markets differently. Like, you know, that that term about building cause. Building cause is so important in the market, whether you want to go up or down. It really is. Right. 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 You're, you're exactly right. You know, in that that trading range we had, uh, you know, uh, this year, the end of last year. You know, went sideways for a whole year. We were talking about it on your radio. Right. Went sideways from May to May. Right. And uh, right. so it was going to either go up or it was going to go down. Right. You know, and, and but you put, you know, you throw the trend in there. Yeah. With all that trend readings were high all in that level. You know, the, your, your odds are extremely in your favor that the market was going to bust higher. Right. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, so. It was still a hard, you know, all trades are kind of hard. Oh, if, yeah. If it's starting to be easy for you, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, and if, the, if the execution, you know, is too quick, folks, you know, not all the time, but if the execution is too quick, you know, if you have a hard time getting an execution many times, that's, that's, a, that's a good sign. That's, you know, that's what it comes down to, which is pretty amazing, man. So, yeah. Well, this so, is certainly going to be interesting on, you know, this little pullback here and see how this thing shakes out because I, I can definitely – you know, see the aspect. I mean, we've already done 73 million in the SPY, and the first high that we hit a couple of days ago only had 65, so we blew that away with volume for sure, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, so, okay. Yeah, they'll knock all the shorts out here probably on a test. Yeah. You know, and maybe that test will happen next week. I don't know. Then uh, maybe we, you know, we'll, we'll announce live on it or something. Yeah, we go from but there. I think we're, we're, I think we're at some point we're going to see 420. You know, right? Uh, which is not a huge decline, but no, but it's a good, it's a good trade, man. It's you know, it's well, it's it's a good few months. But hey, listen, I love it when markets go up and down. I love consolidations. Consolid big consolidations are beautiful. They're huge, man. Just yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, man, you have a great weekend, safe weekend, and uh, we look forward to speaking on Tuesday, Tim. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 257. The Nasdaq's off 96. S&Ps are off 35. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 248. You get the NASDAQ off 89. The S&Ps are off 33. So if we go take a look at the SPY out here, folks, what you're going to see that it, quite a failure in price up here, that's for sure. You know, you got to 459.44, you're at 452. You, as Tim was talking about, you get, you get some volume here. We get 76 million. There'll be a bunch more that will come in at the close. If we go to the uh, Dow Industrials, that's the one that was going to break all records for 123 years. Check that out, man. This is really wild. And, you know, it got to the high high. Um, bottom line gave it up. With, you know, this price spread out here today was... Uh, Let's see. What do we got? Uh, well, that's not that much, actually. Yeah, you get about 400 points. Nothing heavy. You're down 250. Uh, bottom line, though, what, what's intriguing here is that particularly, let me just see in the Dow where we're going to go. Yeah, so you get 633. You're going to do about 950. So what's cool, I'm going to go back to the S&P for a second because these are the ones that really are really cool. Like Tim, Tim is probably expecting, as he said, a, a retest. Now, if you get this, so check this out, folks. We could come down. Watch this now. We got volume. Last time we had volume here was at the 443. And this would be really cool, man. You get down to the 443, right? You have volume that starts contracting at the 443. You go back up and test the highs again. Then you come down to the next level. You can see these, these are, you know, this is 
the little South Boston in me. These, these are the triple deckers houses. You know, you get the first floor, the second floor, the third floor. That's how it goes, man. You can see this, this one's about as clean as you can get. One, two, three. And, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. And your bottom line is that if it does start contracting down there, well, guess what? You pop up again. And that would be the most deviant thing the market could actually do. Because what would end up happening there, you get the sellout, you come down, you go back up, and the people that sold, like, oh, no, 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 I got to buy back in again. Then you get the larger sellout. Then they're down there again. Oh, they got to sell out again. And then guess what? Then it goes back up again. Drives everyone out of their minds. Always remember, folks, have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Attention.